Hey, what's up, Skull Mystic? For the longest time in my videos, I've tried to be informative, I've tried to be helpful, I've tried to do things for players to get them more of the things they want to have or more of the things they need to have and make it more enjoyable for them. One of those things that I have done in the course of my YouTube and Wizard of 101 career is to try to get people improve chat. That means the people who do not have text chat, who have, they call it noob chat, for lack of a better word, I, I try to get them at least text chat. The people who have text chat, I've tried. I've worked at it. I've thought about it. I've looked for ways to get around it. I've looked for ways to do it the right way. For ways for players who have text chat to get open chat. This includes both players who naturally have text chat and players who have had text and or open chat before and have been muted for various reasons. I have come up with a lot of different ways that help. I have. I feel good about that, to be honest. But there's something I want to talk about today in this video that I didn't know about before and was just recently brought to my attention. And that is this little bit of information right here. This is a message that a person recently sent in to support who had started their account underage but is now overage and was trying to get open chat. I know it's not exactly as, as so easy to see the text. It doesn't translate the video very well. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for you really quick and then we'll talk about it. It says, we're sorry, but the age entered when that account was created under 13 years of old or none was entered at all. Due to federal law, COPPA, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, we cannot keep personal information such as date of birth for accounts started with an age under 13 years old. Since we cannot legally track the age of the account, we don't have any way to tell when the person who started it turns 18, which is required for open chat. We also cannot legally or technically change the date of birth registered to an account. It's a non-edit field. So there is no way to update that information through another method. Because of this, the highest chat level your account will qualify for is filtered chat. You must make a credit card purchase to access this feature if you haven't already. To enable filtered chat, if you haven't already done it, please do the following from the main website and it gives the links of where to go and what to do so far as that goes. What this is saying basically in a nutshell is this person's account can never have open chat. It doesn't matter if they're 13 or 30 now. It just doesn't matter. This account was started before they were allowed to have open chat, so now they can't have it at all ever. I don't really understand why it is they can't check whenever the account was started. Because, I mean, it seems like, like that would be information that they would know. But nonetheless, there you have it. This is a legit correspondence between this person and King's Isle support. So there you have it. I'm going to give you just a second look to read through that before I actually move and take this down because it takes up a lot of my screen. I don't want it to do that. Okay, you know what, guys? If you want to see the whole thing, just go ahead and pause the video and check it out by all means. What that little note there essentially means, that was a notice from King's Isle to someone who has text chat and started well I'm sorry who had the noob chat who had young people chat and played for so long they became over age and tried at that point to get open chat now I don't know what you take away from that little letter there but what I take away from that little letter, letter there is a pretty much I'll call it a note of finality because it looks like that person the person in question who received that letter in response to their query will never have open chat, at least not on that account. I was to this point completely unaware of said law that's in that letter. I was unaware that there's actually people who can never qualify for open chat because of the wording of that letter, because of what's said in that letter. Uh, that really just that really just blows my mind. They can't track your age, so they can't verify that you're over 18, even if that account makes a purchase. I don't I don't quite understand how that works. If some of you down there, if some out out there in viewer land know what they're talking about, maybe you got a law degree because I sure don't. I I'm just a poor YouTuber. I don't have none of them about good book learning. None of that. <laughs> If any of you guys know what's up with that, what that really means legally, by all means, hit me up in the comments. 
you know, enlighten me. Because I, I'd never heard of such a thing. I never knew there were conditions under which you could never, or account could never be allowed to have open chat. I thought that that's what the credit card process and making the payments was for. Because you pretty much got to go through a, a, a whole vetting process to get a credit card. I mean, these days especially. Back back in the day, you know, years ago, they you could say your name was Bob and they give you a credit card. It doesn't work that way anymore. Now you got to prove your name is Bob and prove it without a shadow of a doubt. Because boys, they want that money. There could be no, no, no defaulting. But I'm getting off the subject here with that. I would have thought that a verified credit card would make it possible to go from noob chat or even text chat into open chat. And it doesn't seem to be that way. I am taking this letter. I mean, it looks legit. You know, it's got all the right headers and all the right verbiage and all that whatnot to be a legit King's Isle letter. But again, I've played this game since the beginning. I've never heard this before. Never, never. I have always been told or always been given to understand that all you had to do, even if you weren't of age at the time, was once you got to be of age, or even that, even failing that, even if you're not of age, that your parents could do it for you if they approved. But, well, it, it appears after all this time I've been enlightened. Given that this letter is actually legit, it seems like some of you, unless you start a new account, can't ever get open chat. I don't know if that's right or not. I, I don't know. I'm not complaining again. I would never. I, I understand fully at the beginning of all this, the base of all this. Wizard 101 is King's Isle's company. King's Isle owns it. It's theirs to do with what they will. But sometimes I think some of the policies, well, I don't even say that. I think some of the policies aren't quite what I would expect them to be. I'll put it that way. I'll be as diplomatic as humanly possible. Well, that mouse walks in front of me. There you go. I'll be as diplomatic as humanly possible. I don't understand how it is that you can get an account and never be able to qualify for open chat. I just, I don't get that. So guys, this is it. I just wanted to bring this up because I don't know if this is very well known or not. I thought I knew, every, not everything, but pretty much everything there was to know about the game. And I never heard of this before, never knew it. Now I want you to know it. So it might just be that if you have hopes of getting open chat, that you might not be able to. Sucks, but well, there is the cookie and all of its chocolate chips with it. I just wanted to give you a quick update on this before I sign off on the video. It's been a little while since I filmed this. And I am in correspondence now with King's Isle staff to find out if there is any way of changing or doing anything with this policy. First of all, I wanted to find out if that letter was well and truly a legitimate King's Isle response. Because the party that sent it to me, I mean, they're credible enough. But it's always best to get these things locked down. Make sure you're not sticking your foot in your mouth on some information on some, you know, some kind of a fake graphic. So that's what I've done. I've contacted King's Isle directly so that I can get this answer directly from the source, from the horse's mouth, as it were, and clear this up. I haven't gotten an answer back yet, but whenever I do, either way, I will be sure to let you all know what happened. I know that open chat is a big issue for a lot of you, especially, especially if you've lost it or don't have it. I understand that totally. And I just want to get that in there. Guys, as soon as I have an answer directly from King's Isle, I will be letting you know. Guys, I hope this helped you out. Well, in a left-handed sort of way, I hope it helps you out. At least give you some more information you didn't have before. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good heart, smash as well, subscribe, share, and yell my name to everybody you know, because I would love to see more of you around here. Until next time, this is Skeletal Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, I'm Skeletal Mystic. My real Windspar, which you see here as the lovely kitty that she is, has now gone. Why is that? Well, let's go ahead now and talk about that in this video. Now you may have noticed if you went into castle tours lately, or if you follow the forums, if you pay attention to the newsletter, or if you are 